to make a fall inspired drink it's going to be called harvest punch i kind of found this drink off of pinterest i think i'm going to be doing a lot of pinterest drinks that i find and just putting like my own spin on it so it's called harvest punch and it's like kind of like a caramel apple type of drink we're gonna see so um i have apple juice well apple cider i have well, you're going to see it. If you want to see how I made this drink, keep watching. Okay, so first things first. I'm going to realize. No, I'm okay. So first things first, we're going to get some fruit and a pitcher. Now, I found these pitchers at the dollar store for literally a dollar. Or, wait, when I said a dollar store, I mean like Dollar Tree for a dollar. But if you go to Dollar General, I feel like, I feel like with a Kelly, can you just see my face? from here down but I just want you to see what I'm doing but anyway these are like a dollar at the dollar store or if you go to Dollar General they're like five dollars but they're bigger than this these are like the dollar version so first things first we're going to cut our pear I just washed it I forgot to take the sticker off I want to cut it using my knife from Kroger and my little cutting board I got from Recap Mix a long time ago. I did that drink competition and they sent me a whole bunch of goodies. And my goodies include a cutting board. So we're just gonna cut it and we're gonna. So the rest of this video is gonna be a voiceover because I had company and I didn't wanna talk and make a video. So I'm just cutting more Granny Smith apples that I got from Kroger. If you see the sticker, my bad. Um, I watched them. I, I said watch. I watched them and then forgot to take the sticker off. But uh, it's okay because it was just for me and my friend. And we'll live. Just ignore the apple that just fell. <laughs> so I'm just putting more um, Granny Smith apples into the pitcher. Because you want to have a lot of apples because you're going to let it sit for like an hour. And it's going to taste really, really good. Kind of like apple juice. So I'm just cutting, you know, got to get my money's worth for all these apples. And I'm just putting them in the blender. So I added, I forgot what this apple is called, but I read one. So ignore the sticker because I knew I took it off this one, but I didn't. So like you see me looking at like, damn, I forgot the sticker. So I like low key just cut it off and just ignored the sticker part. See, I'm like, damn, I forgot the sticker. <laughs> but whatever. I was checking to see if I had any more stickers on there. So I'm just adding more apples to the mix. Chop, chop, chop. I actually like this knife I bought from Kroger. It's really sharp. Like how I want my knives to be. Just in case one of y'all trying to rob me and slice, slice a motherfucker. But, um, yeah. So right now you just see me, I guess, second guessing how many apples I want to put in there. It's really up to you. You can put the whole thing or you can just put a little bit. So I'm just showing you how many apples I put. And it's enough for it to soak up all the liquor and I'm going to add. So the next thing I'm going to add is Crown Royal apple because like I said this is a harvest type of drink like you're harvesting apples I want to say 
I hate when people save the Crown Royal bag. Like, the Crown Royal been gone for, like, two years, but you got the bag, though. That should change bag. I really hate when people do that. When I say people, I mean niggas, because black people like to hold on to stuff. So, right now, um, you see me struggling trying to open this Crown Royal. I know my uh, shorts pocket look weird, but I got these shorts from Walmart, and my stomach is not about to pop out. These actually fit me kind of big around my waist, so... That's that's another reason why I look so tight, because I got it low-key tight, because it don't really fit. But anyway, that's off topic, because y'all can be in the comments talking shit. So, <laughs> I'm adding uh, enough Crown Royal. It really depends on how strong you want your drink. So, I added almost half, well, that's not even half. I don't know what to call that. But I added enough, okay? No exact measurements. I added enough because uh, because I didn't want to cancel out with the Stella Apple. Speaking of Stella Apple, for unknown reasons, the part where I actually poured the Stella Apple did not record. So I poured the same amount of Stella Apple uh, into the picture. So the same amount of Crown Royal Apple and Stella Apple. I'm kind of sad because I couldn't find any uh, like caramel vodka anywhere but that's okay. So now I'm just adding apple juice. This is the harvest, fresh harvest pressed apple juice that they have at Kroger. So now I'm just going to mix it around and make sure that I get everything, you know, mixed together because you're going to let it sit in the fridge for about an hour or so. And you may see like little apple seeds floating around. That's okay. So right now I'm just, you know, giving it a nice little stir. Making sure that everything is okay. And I'm going to put it in the fridge for about an hour. So in mid-video, I decided I wanted to rim the glass with some sanding sugar. Now, I kind of didn't like it after the fact. And I was talking to my friend, so that's why you see me shaking my head. But uh, this is what I did. I just grabbed some simple syrup and some red sanding sugar. And I just rimmed the glass. I thought that was going to be cute. But once I did it, I really didn't care for it. So, this is an extra step if you want to do it. Me, personally, I do not like the way it looked with a drink. I was just being extra, but it's me showing you what it looked like. So, now you see my friend in the background. He was like, oh my god, don't record me. I'm just like, whatever, you're my video. Deal with it. And he's recording me do this. So, you see me adding apples to it first because I wanted the apples to like float up and look pretty I guess so I use my spoon to add my apples first after my drink has been sitting for an hour like he's so nosy he's like oh my god I've never seen you do this before who is goody who is this lee person so you just see me you know making it look cute unfortunately I didn't get the part where I actually poured it in but it's just me just adding the extra apple slices on top to make it look cute now, y'all, my friend, he uh, he made his drink look really, really cute. I don't think mine's came out best when I was adding the apple slices. I usually use, like, a little skewer thing that you get from Party City, but I lost all of mine. But this is what it looks like before we both tweaked it for the picture. And uh, the apples are on top, the sanding sugar, and then I added caramel sauce. Usually I add caramel vodka, but I couldn't find any. And it still gave the same effect. So right now you just see me stirring it to, you know, mix it all together. This is the final product. I take all my pictures on the balcony. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye.